Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces, August 21, 2024. Today's transits can be tense in spots, but also highly motivating. As you see flaws, your desire to improve strengthens. With the sun at the top of your solar chart these days, you might often prioritize your work and goals, but your responsibilities can clash with your need for companionship or a focus on relationships. It's best to identify areas of your life that require a change or a new approach instead of falling back on the same behaviors that keep outdated patterns alive. You won't thrive if your actions are dictated by what someone else is or isn't doing, especially if they don't return the favor. Aim to break out of habits that don't serve you well and focus on making steady progress and improvements. Yesterday's full moon occurs in your solar fourth house, and family or home matters grab your attention. A balance is needed if you've prioritized your responsibilities to the outside world. It's time to gain perspective on matters related to your home, family, and personal life or your emotional world. Be sure to recharge so that you can give other areas of your life your best. You can benefit greatly from catching up with family or your own heart, finding reassurance and control in the balance you maintain. A significant turning point will arrive this week, and you could feel like the intense energy is being thrust upon you. The sturgeon moon will captivate you today in particular, as it highlights your solar house of family, home, and domesticity. Full moons can be felt for two days prior and linger for four days after so you'll feel most significantly now. This will signal a major shift around one of these areas, so if you live with your sweetheart, you may have to damage control something suddenly, like a basement flood, bug infestation, or some other nuisance. Others may be finishing up a move or renovation. What can you take away from your professional history? You may have felt like you were living in a time capsule these last six months. Memories of old co-workers, work situations, and more may have come up. The nostalgia of your work history is a sign, so reflect on what this may mean during the full moon in Aquarius. You may find that your previous work experiences are meant to teach you something. Once you find the main takeaway, it could help you figure out where you want to take why. Our career path. Things may feel a bit uneasy today, and you are right to listen to yourself at the cost of seeming indifferent to others. There is no better way to protect yourself than to stay true to what you know is right for you. Giving in to the pressure of the outside world can often lead you to unhappiness. Try to enjoy the security of your own privacy but be careful not to shut yourself in completely. Getting in some soothing yoga is highly recommended. Don't get discouraged, the difficult and even trying problems of the last few, uneven days are going to go away little by little. You will have to start over again and accelerate the tempo. You are going to progressively be more open towards others, frequent new places and maybe travel, who knows. If you haven't already done so, now would be a good time to go on vacation. If you still have some professional problems put them aside and get out, at least to go around the block. During the sun's month-long visit to your career sector, a time when the focus is naturally on your professional situation and options, the moon will also return as a full moon in your home and family sector. This event can challenge your work and lee. Fay balance, though rarely are circumstances so evenly matched. Yesterday's full moon coincides with Pluto entering his final 14 days in your home and family sector, supported by planets aiding this phase of change and transformation. Concurrently, with Mercury aligned with the Sun, you have the opportunity to work smarter during this critical period. Thanks to a friendly aspect to the moon just before it left your communication sector yesterday, Uranus can move into his final two weeks in direct motion in your relationship sector with a new sense of confidence and awareness, as well as with the communication lines open. With the dwarf planet Ceres moving into her final seven days in retrograde motion in your communication sector today, this is already making it easier to give the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. Friendships, like all relationships, are living, breathing connections that require care and attention. 
It's not just about spending time together, but about building a foundation of mutual support, trust, and understanding. If you've been feeling a disconnect with someone in your Lithia Euro, whether it's a friend, a group of people, or even a Kalia Gia Euro, today might bring you the clarity you need to decide if it's time to make a change. Sometimes, relationships evolve in ways that no longer align with who we are or where we're headed, and that's okay. Letting go is never easy, but it's often necessary to make space for the kind of authentic, supportive connections that truly bring you joy. Think about a time when a friendship no longer felt right. How did you handle it? Did you have a conversation, or did you gradually distance yourself? Maybe you learned something valuable about yourself through that experience. Share your story others might be going through something similar and could benefit from your insights. By sharing your experiences, you could help someone else find the strength to make decisions that are right for them, too. Now, on days like today, UM. I'd feel more inclined to stay cozy in bed rather than face the world head-on. We've all been there, right? There's a strong pull towards comfort a euro, whether that's indulging in sweet dreams, binge-watching your favorite show, or treating yourself to something delicious. And you know what? A little rest and relaxation is a good thing. We all need those moments to recharge. But, as with anything, balance is key. It's easy to fall into the trap of overindulgence, and while that might feel good in the moment, it might not lead you to the results you truly want in the long run. So, instead of diving headfirst into a full day of indulgence, why not find a middle ground? You can still embrace comfort, but in ways that nurture both your body and spirit. Maybe that means going for a peaceful walk in nature or taking a few minutes to stretch and breathe deeply. These small acts of self-care can help you feel refreshed and re-energized without overdoing it. When you approach your day with this kind of balance, you might be surprised at how much easier it is to tackle your responsibilities. Even those tasks on your to-do list might not feel like work at all. And here's something magical that H. Appends when you radiate that kind of balanced, easygoing energy, people are drawn to it. They see your calm and positive attitude, and they want to share in that feeling. Sometimes, just showing up with a smile and a positive mindset can make all the difference euro, not just for you, but for the people around you, too. Have you ever noticed how infectious positivity can be? It's like a ripple effect. When you're in a good place, emotionally and mentally, that energy spreads to others, making their day a little brighter, too. But let's not forget you deserve to feel that positivity in your own life, as well. So, take a moment to check in with yourself today. Are there areas where you can bring more balance? Whether it's making sure you're getting enough rest, finding joy in simple activities, or staying connected with those who uplift you, your well-being is worth prioritizing. Spoil yourself a little, treat yourself with kindness, and make sure that positive outlook you're sharing with others is something you're cultivating within yourself, too. And as you go about your day, stay mindful of your interactions. Enjoy those chats with colleagues and loved ones, but also keep an eye on why. Our own tasks and responsibilities. Striking that balance between social connection and personal productivity is key to maintaining harmony in your life. Use your time constructively and remember to nurture the relationships that are important to you. When you invest in both yourself and your connections, you're building a strong foundation for lasting happiness and success. So, today, embrace the clarity that comes with the full moon, make space for the relationships that truly matter, and give yourself the care and attention you deserve. Whether you're taking a small step towards self-care, or a big leap towards a new beginning, know that you're on the right path.